Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can find a matrix to represent a stretch in either the x or the y axis. So I'll timestamp each of the examples below so you can skip through to whichever part you want to see and if this video is useful then please do like and subscribe. So let's look at this first example here where we're looking to find a matrix which describes a stretch in the x axis with a scale factor of 2. Okay. So what this is going to do is stretch it solely parallel to the x-axis and leave the y-axis unchanged. Okay, So we could say that it's an invariant axis. So it's going to be stretched so that it's going to become a shape stretched solely in the x-axis like this. So if it's stretched with a scale factor of 2, then my point 1, 0, well that's going to be stretched across and it's going to become the point 2, 0, isn't it? And so just from this, I could find out the matrix. It's going to look something like this. My point 1, 0 is transformed to the point 2, 0. And well, we said the y-axis is going to be unchanged. So the point 0, 1 is going to stay at 0, 1. And so this matrix here would describe a stretch in the x-axis with a scale factor of 2. Now, if we wanted to stretch scale factor 3 in the uh, x-axis, then this just 2 in this matrix would change to a 3. And so what we could say is if we wanted to perform a stretch scale factor k parallel to the x-axis, well, it could be done by using the following matrix here, where k represents the scale factor. And you can see we're stretching in the x-axis, but the y-axis, or my point 0, 1, remains fixed. It remains unchanged. Let's now look at another example where this time we're looking to find a stretch, uh, the matrix to describe a stretch in the y-axis, this time with a scale factor of 3. So let's look. Well, if we stretch in the y-axis, it's going to look something like this. Okay, It's just being stretched just in the y. Scale factor 3, it's going to be twice as big, three times as big. And so my new point, 0, 1, is going to be transformed to the point 0, 3. And so again, we could say, well, the x-axis this time is my invariant axis. So the x-axis remains unchanged. And so my transformation matrix, well, the point 1, 0 stays at 1, 0 and the point 0, 1 is transformed to the point 0, 3. And again, we could generalize this and say a stretch scale factor k parallel to the y-axis could be re represented by the following transformation matrix. So hopefully this video was useful. Uh, if it was, then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I have tons of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.